up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we're gonna be looking at the biggest news to drop in pokemon pocket this year um there's some things that aren't really that clear and we're gonna sort of look into this we're gonna break it down and see if we can try and figure out when these confirmed dates and things are actually gonna be happening um so the first thing we'll do is we're gonna look at this tweet from the pokemon devs the official pokemon devs so the first thing they do is they want to thank everyone that waited in anticipation for the release of Pokemon Pocket. And they are going to continue to develop and operate the game so that it's enjoyable and fun for everyone. And I'll be honest, I am loving the game. They are doing a fantastic job. Um, the gameplay, the artwork, and the balance. The game is so well balanced. Originally, everyone's sort of just playing sort of five, six decks, but then people sort of found all these Pokemon that we're sleeping on, the support cards, and just, you know, constantly bringing out these beastly decks. And yeah, the game is constantly evolving and it's it's really fun and interesting. You know, I love building decks. I love testing them out. I love like playing the arena. So yeah, they are doing a great job on the game. And then the next thing they talk about is they are adding new booster packs by the end of the year. So I've already done a video on this, sort of talking about number one, make sure you save your pack hourglasses your wonder pick hourglasses because when gen 2 drops you know that's the pokemon for gold and silver you're going to have a huge advantage over everyone else that didn't save because you're going to be able to pull loads of packs and get all the new pokemon they've already said that these pokemon are going to shake up the meta i don't think they're going to be broken and op but they should have like a slight advantage over the current cards that are in the game so definitely makes sense and yeah really really pumped for this really excited and they say that they reckon the cards are going to drop around january 2025 um or oh, sorry the end of the year so the information i looked at the times all said the 30th of december 5th of january but things have sort of moved on now and we've got some data mined info that we'll look at in a moment and then the next big thing they talk about is trading cards will start in January 2025. So what they're going to do is it's going to be like a, they're going to limit the rarity that you can trade to begin with. Makes sense. You don't want everyone just getting the most OP cards in the game. Um, you know, it makes it really boring if you just get everything straight away. It's more fun if it takes time and a bit of work and effort to get the cards you want. But they're sort of going to, you know, restrict the rarity. And then as time goes on, they're going to, you know, up the rarity so you can start to get more and more of the cards that you want and this is great because you know think if there's any like dupes you need so you can build certain decks or if you you know if you're trying to get Mew and you want to complete your poker decks being able to trade cards as well will massively help you with that as well so we've sort of looked at the tweet now now let's look at some data mine info from game Rant. so uh, this is the data mine from game Rant, and according to the letter to the community on the 13th of november so they call it a letter i think it's just a tweet to be honest uh but the team plans to add a new booster pack by the end of the year data mining suggests that a2 the follow-up to uh, genetic apex won't be arriving until january 29 don't worry guys it's not gonna be january 2029 but the 29th of january is massively way off to what we th originally thought so i just wish they were a little bit more transparent with this they're very secretive about when the next pack's going to drop and i wish they were just open and honest with us like there's nothing wrong with them sort of saying this is what we were planning to do it's taking a little bit longer guys than what we thought and actually it's now going to be moved to the 29th of january i you know i completely appreciate and understand that you know they're going to be adding a hundred new pokemon maybe a little bit more than that as well you know they've got to do artwork they've got to do the skills and they've got to make sure the game's still balanced as well so that's a lot of stuff going on and you know there's nothing wrong with them just saying like oh, i was just taking a little bit longer but um, you know i'm a little bit i'm a little bit impatient i wish it was coming a bit sooner but yeah i just wish that they were just a bit more transparent with us but so yeah obviously really pumped for a2 you know the pokemon from gold and silver but also data mind has also suggested that the a1a booster packs are coming as well which will be apparently going live on the 16th of december it is thought that the A1A booster pack will be an expansion of the genetic A packs rather than a brand new set. So either it's going to be um, introducing a few new cards or 
players are going to be provided with better odds of getting rare cards than the standard genetic APAC boosters. So for me personally, I think I'd rather get better odds and get all those cards that I'm sort of struggling to get so I can complete my Pokedex and get Mew. But also getting new cards as well, oh, it's really it's really difficult. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below what you'd rather get. And then the next thing they talk about is the uh, trading. So, so only certain cards will be tradable. And the developers have indicated that these restrictions will be lifted as time goes by. It's thought that certain card rarities will be untradable at first, but by making it so that players can only trade cards of matching rarities makes sense. It wouldn't be fair if someone trading like, you know, a shiny Mewtwo EX for, I don't know, like a Pidgey just wouldn't be fair. But the developers will presumably be able to get around the issue of players creating alt accounts and then trading any rare cards they pull over to their mains. I don't know how they're going to get the Pokemon police on this one. Uh, I just don't think it's doable. They, I don't think there's any way that they're going to be able to do that. Um, to be fair as well, I don't really think it's an issue because technically, you know, if I trade another player, say I want to trade a Charizard for a Blastoise, you know, and someone else is willing to do that then what's the difference from me doing that to an ult? I don't really see the issue. Uh, I don't think there's any sort of abuse you can do. So I think it's fair game, but maybe people will be cheeky and uh, start making the ults. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next thing they talk about are the um, promo cards. So the Venusaur, Mewtwo, Greninja. These are already in the game, but we're going to skip this section because it's already in the game. But if we come down to the the timeline, the but it says unconfirmed. But if we look at the Venusaur solo battle and the Bulbasaur and Magnemite event, they got both these dates right. They were both right. So December 16th is when they suggest, or when they think that the A1A booster packs will be released. I think this is going to be right. Um, and also trading is going to be added in January. Obviously, they haven't given a set date. So I think it's going to be around the beginning of January. And then... A2 booster pack will be released on the 29th of January. I think these dates are going to be right, even though it says unconfirmed and this is data mined. Obviously, it's not 100% set in stone, but I think these are pretty accurate. So I think if the booster pack drops on the 16th of December and today is the 7th of December, I think that the A2 pack boosters will definitely drop on the 29th of January. They are, they've pretty much got it right so far. You know, two out of two, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think they are going to be right on this. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm pumped for both of them. Obviously more content for the game is always good, but for the gold and silver packs, you know, which Pokemon are you guys most excited for? Let me know in the comments below for me, like Tyranitar, Lugia, Sukun, and also Umbreon as well. Like some sick Pokemon are coming and yeah, cannot wait. So yeah, just let me know in the comments guys. Um, the other thing is, you know, that's pretty much the end of the video guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, drop me a cheeky thumbs up. Smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.